Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is going to be ADL week. I don't know. I don't know the week. Um, and we're going to be here with our battle against uh, the mouse hold family. The mouse family, sorry. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to look up my... The matchup. Um, yeah, this is going to be another week. I'm just going to quickly pull up the week as well. We are in week six of the ADL, and so far we're doing pretty good. Um, we're in, we're, I think with one more win we get into playoffs, so, I, I mean, we might be able to get into playoffs with just this record already, but um, we are four wins in and one loss, so just a few more wins, like maybe like one or two, and we'll definitely secure us into playoffs, um, but for now we are on a pretty good record. So. Uh, we'll jump into the record. Oh, sorry for not uploading. Um, my laptop's battery is just absolutely garbage. So, um, but I recently just got that fixed, actually just today. Um, I'm quite happy with that. Um, so I should be able to get back into normal stuff. So we're going to begin our the list with the matchup. Um, it should be on the screen. We are up against a Coridon, a Mew, Iron Jugulus, Heatran, Miascarada, uh, Sandy Shocks, Mega Venusaur, Garganacle, Tapu Fini, and Gusnoir. Um, so obviously the main thing is Coridon, the the legendary of uh, Pokemon Scarlet, is extremely threatening, it's extremely powerful, honestly might be stronger than some of the Pokemon fan, um, because it's just so fast, so strong. Um, there's very few switch-ins to its fighting dragon stab, let alone its um, fire coverage as well. So. With Flare Blitz and Sun, it's basically, you know, a, a, a third stat. Uh, very strong Pokemon. We also have Mew to worry about, we have Iron Jugulus to worry about. Um, and one thing that I'm actually quite scared of is the Mega Venusaur. Um, I've faced Mega Venusaur several times before, and every time it's been so bulky, it's very hard to break. Um, one more thing to worry about, as well as Garganicle. It doesn't get the Terra, so thank god, but um, obviously it's very annoying. Uh, it's a very annoying Pokemon. So yeah, we're gonna start off our uh, thing. Oh, and one more thing, we have we're up against the Tapu Fini, so we, there's Terrain Wars. Um, though actually, I think Tapu Fini's Misty Terrain kind of helps us a bit as well, given that it weakens Coradon's Dragon moves. Um, it stops Heatran and Mega Venusaur from statusing us very much. Um, so actually, it's not that bad to have Misty Terrain up. So we're gonna start off with Convey. Comfey did pretty good work last week. It wasn't really needed, it was just like finishing up at the end, but I think it was a pretty good set. We're doing something similar this week with Draining Kiss, Leech Seed, U-Turn, and Taunt with Life Orb. So, uh, the, defensive in the defensive investment lets me live uh, a Coridon Flare Blitz um, into from full health, I think after Rocks um, or something, something like that. And then Draining Kiss, Okos, uh, zero defense, zero spidef investment. Um, Pro, so it, it will probably have some investment since it can outpace Arceus and just put the rest of these at HP, but um, with some chip, which Coridon's gonna have from Flare Blitzes and stuff, and maybe even just in close combat, defense drop, uh, Draining Kiss will Oko pretty much all the time. Leech Seed is there so that uh, the, gar the obvious Heatran or Mega Venusaur, well not the Mega Venusaur, but the obvious Heatran will be punished um, because I can just set up Leech Seed on it. Um, Miascarada also gets... Uh, Actually, Meowth gets Draining Hist. Um, the U-turn is there for obviously for pivoting, for example, out of the Mega Venusaur, and Taunt was also there so that uh, to stop any Toxicking, to stop any recovering from Garganacle, um, stuff like that, um, or any shenanigans with Mew. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be Presto the Comfe. Um, kind of want Grass Stab on this, not well, not Grass Stab, but Grass Typing attack on this, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Right now we only have fairy moves, which, I mean, the grass doesn't really add much. So, I mean, it hits Tapu Fini, hits Garganacle, and it hits Sandy Shocks for more damage. But yeah, this thing is mainly here just to beat Coridon. Next up we got Queen of Thorn, the new queen. Uh, this is gonna be max special attack, modest, with Life Orb Sheer Force. We got Earth Power, Ice Beam, Stealth Rocks, and Shadow Ball. That's basically perfect coverage. And we got Stealth Rocks, so this thing can probably switch in on a Mega Venusaur, for example, that's not Earth-powering. Um, a Garganacle, for example, um, 
even the Tapu Fini's Moonblast. Basically, you can switch into a lot of stuff, take a hit because it's so bulky, and then just probably 2 hit heal something. Um, so hopefully that happens. Uh, it's pretty good offensive threats. Uh, one thing I did forgot to mention is it can't really touch Mega Venusaur if it's specially invested, so especially defensively invested, which is quite unfortunate. Um, the only things that Mega Venusaur are weak to are, I believe, Flying and Psychic. And unfortunately, we don't have the best Flying type. Psychic type, um, yeah, we do have Latias, but even Latias um, will just do a lot of damage to Psychic, if depending on the investment. Next up, we got Arceus, the Divine Flame. Uh, Flame Plate, Judgment, Earth Power, Combine, Cover. Um, obviously, Coridon brings the Sun, so that's pretty good for us. Um, Arceus Fire, uh, Judgment will do a lot of damage to everything except for Heatran, Earth Power covers that. Um, it also hits Garganacle, hits Tapu Fini decently, especially in the Sun. Sorry, not Tapu Fini actually. Um, but yeah, basically, it hits Garganacle well, it's, it hits. Um, yeah, fire type is just really good into his team, and obviously the Heatran stops that, but Earth Power. Calm Mind and Recover is nice there as well. Uh, Calm Mind lets me set up and Oko things like even break past Tapu Fini if I need to. Uh, recover, obviously, is for recovery uh, for longevity. Next up, we got Pressure Points the Urshifu Single Strike with a Black Belt, uh, Low Kick, Wicked Blow, Poison Jab, and Trailblaze. This could be a win condition, but it could also just be a breaker. Uh, Wicked Blow is really strong into this team, um, except for Coridon, um, Mega Venusaur, and Tapu Fini. Really? Sorry, no, I'm thinking of fighting. Uh, Wicked Blow, yeah, isn't good into Coridon, isn't good into Iron Jugulus. Um, Meowth Karada still gets probably 3 a KO, 2 a KO, depending on investment, um, and doesn't do well into Fini, but we have Poison Jab for Fini, we have Trailblaze also for Fini to get us faster. We can actually get them faster than Coridon. Um, Coridon and Heatran are both really heavy, so they actually get max power low kicked. Um, and Black Belt kind of helps boost that damage. Um, so that's quite good. Uh, next up we got Zenith, the Laias, Draken Meteor, Aura, Sphere, Healing, Witch, the Fog. Um, as you can see, I didn't bring a psychic move. Honestly, in retrospect, um, I probably should have. Um, but I don't think. I kind of struggle to fit all the moves in one go. Draco Meteor obviously is a really good stab into. Well, can outspeed and revenge a Coradon if Comfey can't. Um, and it's also just good damage into everything. Except Fini. Or Sphere hits uh, Heatran pretty good. Well, uh, Healing Wish obviously brings it back to life uh, and lets me outspeed Coradon. Um, the Scarf lets me outspeed Coradon and Healing Wish to bring back Arceus, for example. And then Defog um, is to remove any emergency hazards. Lastly, we got Lucio, the Rillaboom with Woodhammer, U-Turn, Superpower, and Knockoff uh, in the Choice Band. Choice Band, it seemed pretty good here. Um, just having um, I, no priority here because uh, I don't think I really need it. Like, the stuff that outspeed me, I don't really want to stay on on anyway. So I don't really want to gras Grassy Glide. I can always just Woodhammer instead on the Switch and might as well do more damage while, you know, getting switched on. U-turn uh, Super Power Knockoff is quite nice coverage. So yeah, that's the team. Um, we'll see how we do in the battle. Alright, we're in the battle. Turn turns out fixing my battery doesn't fix the fact that my fan is on fire, but yeah. Honestly, in retrospect, um, I didn't really build the best um, for this match. I always seem to run fire ground coverage, and honestly, this game, this week it wasn't really the best. Like. Sure, I hit Heatran, but like, maybe I should have gone like Combine 3 attacks or Sword Stance 3 attacks, because honestly, like, I feel like I needed that extra oomph. Um, and maybe Latias should have been something else, because I really feel like I should have had Psychic. Um, because, as you can see here, Mega Venusaur is just sitting right there. Karadon sitting right there. Would have been really nice to be able to hit them uh, better. Like Draken Meteor hits them, or, uh, hits Karadon all right, but only once, and obviously it's gonna switch out. But um, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. So we're gonna lead with uh, Need a Queen. I kind of live a hit from everything except Karadon, and I didn't think he was gonna lead it. And even if he could, then I just go into Comfey. Um, yeah, so he leads Tapafini, and this is where I realized I didn't bring Sludge Wave. 
Another failure on my part to prep, uh, probably should have gone Sludge Wave. I probably wouldn't have killed anyway, but you're gonna see that the only thing I can really do in front of this thing is put up rocks. Earth's power is okay, but doesn't do amazing damage. Um, he goes for Scald, which is interesting because um, that's actually a nice way to switch into the Rillaboom because I override the terrain and suddenly I get burnt. So Stealth Rocks goes up, which is quite nice. I now switch out into Comfey. He's it's kind of my special sponge at this point. Um, and he goes for and he goes for a Taunt as I go for a U-turn. And it goes straight into Rillaboom. Here, uh, I believe I go for Woodhammer. I might have gone for a U-turn, actually. Actually, no, I do go for a U-turn. Um, which is probably the best play here. Uh, it, does, it does a surprising amount of Venusaur, like 40% after, and after rocks, it's at half health, which is really great for me. Um, and this right now, at this point, I'm just trying to break it. I go into Urshifu, and I go for a Wicked Blow. Um, this is, and as you can see, it doesn't actually kill, and in retrospect, it never killed. I knew that based on the damage rolling because I believed it was max defense Venusaur. I don't know what I should have done here to be honest. Um, probably shouldn't have gone into Urshifu and on, in, like just straight up I underprepped for Mega Venusaur because I can, you're gonna see I cannot bring this thing down. Uh, synthesis is, like synthesis is just so strong um, because it, I can, I just can't seem to 2 KO this thing. It goes for Toxic. Um, Honestly, I, th that was a throw on my part. I should have wicked blood again. I didn't. I, I forgot that you only get six synthesises, so I could have actually stalled all the uh, all the synthesises with uh, wicked blow, which is probably worth it, given the direness of how badly I lost to Venusaur. Here, uh, Judgment does a decent amount, but near, not nearly enough. Earth Power comes out. It's zero special attack, so it doesn't do an awful lot. But after Toxic, I'm already at half health. This is looking pretty bad for me. Um, Talk Judgment does another good amount, and I, at this point, I think he's gonna go for Synthesis or switch out. So I go into Nita Queen. Should have just gone for Judgment. Um, that would have killed Venusaur right there, which would have been better for me. Sure, I would have been on low health Arceus, but I do have Healing Wish in the back. Yeah, this was looking bad. I have been playing really badly and overplaying a lot. I could have just, you know, uh, not gone into Urshifu. I should have. Um, I should have not gone into Arceus after that, um, and then I should have stayed into Arceus after that. Now I'm in on Need Queen, and Venusaur is at pretty high health. Earth Power is the best I can do, and it does 34%. He's just going to click Synthesis. Um, yeah, not looking great for us. Now Earth Power just kills me. He's at least low. Go back into Urshifu. I didn't learn my lesson. Wicked Blow doesn't kill. I am really bad at this game. Um, I decide to Wicked Blow again as he goes for a Toxic. This is actually great for me because f while he did um, spam Synthesis, and actually at this point he, there was a PP advantage, so I would have actually uh, done more. It like now he's low, so I can just quick, uh, he's probably gonna either switch out or just sacrifice his Venusaur here. He decides to switch out here finally. Uh, Heatran comes in, and I go for a Poison Jab. Kind of a misplay. Um, I think Low Kick probably would have killed at that point with Black Belt Stab doing 8%. I'm sure it could have done that. Um, Heatran was pretty obvious. I was trying to read the Tapu Fini, but yeah, um, probably Close Combat, not Close Combat, Low Kick was probably better here so I could make progress on whatever. I was so fixated on Tapu Fini being the switch in that I completely forgot that um, maybe Heatran could be it for Flame Body. It was probably flash fire to be honest, and Heatran probably wasn't was I mean in my in my defense, Heatran wasn't the first switch I would have expected. But Poison Jab didn't cover for that and it definitely was an option. Now I just go for a low kick. Turns out it's Choppleberry and Lips. Earth Power does a good amount of damage to me, but now Urshifu is basically wasted. Wicked Blow does finish it off though. Uh, so at least Urshifu gets a kill, and it's actually on 1% now. Sandy Shocks comes in and just kills me with Thunderbolt. Don't learn much from that, but I do. It does reveal leftovers. Grassy terrain is pretty good here, and I just go for a U-turn. Could have woodhammered. I could have woodhammered and just claimed the life, but I didn't. Um, I expected a switch, but yeah. At this point, uh, my opponent actually told me that they started reading my habits and realizing I kept go going for U-turns a lot and switches, um, going for doubles when I really didn't need to. Woodhammer was probably just the best move there because it did insane damage to everything. Um, that wanted to switch in. Everything, damage on anything was valuable there and would have killed Venusaur because of rocks. 
Um, I had no reason to U-turn. Arceus comes in, now chipped, and being toxic. Not looking great. I switch out back to Rillaboom, because I there was nothing else I could really do. Um, Rillaboom is my switch into Sandy Shocks. And I decided this time to go for a Woodhammer, I believe. Yes, I do. But he switches in on Venusaur to give the sack, and now he actually gets a switch in, free switch into Coridon. So yeah, I whatever semblance of chance I had at winning at this point was gone. I go through Zenith and play Healing Wish, um, leaving the Flare Blitz that I already read, but you know, it's not going great. Healing Wish comes in, and actually, I heal up Arceus. It takes spike damage, so that's not great. I do Calm Mind here as it goes for a Taunt, so I cannot set up any more. Um, now Earth's power is doing not nearly enough to Tapu Fini. And actually at this point, uh, Judgment did more, and I didn't realize that. Didn't It didn't matter at the end, but Judgment does more. Well, not in the sun. Not with the sun gone, but yeah, Judgment would have been better there. Now Coridon comes in, and um, my only switch in, I believe, is Comfey or Rillaboom. I have to, oh yeah, I have to sight Rillaboom here to bring in Comfey. And I kind of just have to hope that Comfey pulls through, um, which is where I really wish I had Grass Stab right now, because Grass Stab would have stopped Sandy Shocks from being annoying. But yeah, Sandy Shocks just comes in now um, with a plus speed, but you know, we're... we're um, I actually set off a Leech Seed, which is helping out with the Sandy Shocks situation, but... Grassy Terrain is actually doing more bad for us than good at this point, um, as Sandy Shocks is just living too much with Leftovers and uh, Grassy Terrain. Would have been great if we had um, Giga Drain here, because then we would have actually probably done a lot more to Sandy Shocks and maybe even beat this 1v1. But at that point, honestly, I'm not even sure we beat... Um, we killed Iron Jugulus, because... I mean, it was at, it's at 100%, so... Yeah, really unfortunate I didn't bring Giga Drain here, but overall I just played really badly. I should have played better here, could have won uh, if I had better prep, better gameplay, and yeah, I was just not in my zone at the moment, and that match. So, um, second loss for the Kelvin Cup phase in the ADL. Uh, week 7 out of, I believe there's 9. So, it's not the worst in the world. No, week 6 out of 9. Um, not the worst in the world, we can pull back, but... Yeah, not best showing this week. Um, and Mew didn't even come. Mew didn't even come. Meowskarata didn't even come. So, yeah. That was a match for sure. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week.